SMAP stands for Small Holder Market Oriented Agriculture Project. This project has started in 2015 and aimed at increasing agricultural income of small holders for horticulture and rice cultivation using the market oriented agriculture extension packages. SMAP project implemented the activities in whole country but mainly in six districts of Rwanda, namely Rwamagana, Chirehe, Rurindo, Musanze, Nyamasheke and Rubavu for horticulture program and six districts Rwamagana, Chirehe, Kayonza, Hoye, Gisagara and Ruhango for rice. Respectively, 121 horticulture cooperatives and 22 rice cooperatives have got the training in SMAP project. SMAP is one of the JICA project in Rwanda to contribute to increase all smallholders' agriculture incomes, aiming to enhance the capacity in extension services on rice and vegetables, in collaboration with Minaguri, Lao, and Target District, under the technical and financial cooperation of JICA. One of the main contributions of SMAP has developed the market-oriented agriculture extension package we call as MAEP in collaboration with lab extension officers. It could be friendly use in rice and horticulture extension activities to offer farmers to apply unique marketing strategy to make their business profitability. For sustainable and effective turnout to farmers, SMAP with both programs have mainly three concepts. Most important concept is farming as business, which realizes market-oriented agriculture and converts farmers' minds from grow and sell to grow to sell. After getting the SMAP training, horticulture cooperative got average two to three times incomes. In rice cultivation program, for example, rice cooperatives in Gisagara district succeeded to achieve 1.5 times yield after one year project activities. Many farmers have gained more income and procured some materials or used for their livelihood. Our farmers have, have been able to, to, to make a rehabilitation or, or construction of the, the, their own houses to be connected, connected to electricity to, to, to pay mutuel uh, de santé and, 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 the, and the school fees for the, the kids. I was going to go to the guitar, Tony, and Shatou, and Shatou, and Shatou, and Shatou. I was going to go to the guitar, and I was going to go to the guitar, and I was going to go to the guitar, and I was going to go to the guitar, and I was going to go to the guitar, and I was going to go to the guitar. I was going to go to the guitar. The SMAP activities in both horticulture and rice cultivation program is conducted in various steps in a year. Main training content for both programs are cooperative management and gender mainstreaming trainings and cultivation training from FFS1 to FFS5 are conducted. For horticulture program, Marketing training and profit analysis workshop are conducted to provide the methodology to understand the market-oriented farming. For rice cultivation program, water management in the marshland is one of important management, and also farmers to be exposed to advance the cooperatives as a study tour in rice cultivation program. Let's go through the various training of SMAP and how it is done. There are four topics in cooperative management training. Cooperative, leadership, record management, and bookkeeping, which aim at improving farmers' capacity in cooperative organization. As far as gender is concerned, both men and women are engaged in farming. Gender training let both get chance to update their skills and knowledge. And gender equality and more collaboration between men and women can lead to improved productivity in farming and livelihood. Market survey is one of the important activities in the horticulture program. At the target market, representatives of cooperatives start to identify major dealers of the target crops and conduct market survey using the survey questionnaire. After coming back to the village, the result of market survey is analyzed with all cooperative members for selecting the target crops for the season and make farming schedule. 
To conduct market-oriented agriculture, it is required to make decisions based on reliable market information which is earned by farmers themselves. On horticultural training, main topics of FFS1 are to make a cropping calendar with market requirement and prepare the nursery bed for sowing. In FFS2, farmers can learn how to prepare the field and transplant appropriately. FFS3 and FFS4 should be conducted in appropriate timing according to the plant growth. They include top dressing, compost making and pest and disease control and so on. In the final cultivation training of FFS5, farmers learn harvesting periods, tools for transplanting and so on. For the rice cultivation program, topics of FFS1 are nursery bed and seed preparation, sowing in nursery bed. On FFS2, farmers can learn how to transplant the good seedlings properly. FFS3 and FFS4 should be conducted in appropriate timing according to the plant growth. For both two trainings, farmers can get knowledge about top dressing and pest and disease control. Finally, the lecture and practice of FFS5 on harvesting and post-harvest will be conducted in the harvesting time. During five years of the project, SMAP has also established the market-oriented agriculture extension packages in collaboration with RAB and other stakeholders. It's also useful for both extension officers and farmers to apply SMAP. Our farmers have gained a lot of things from the project of SMAP and the, the district uh, has uh, highly appreciated the intervention of the uh, SMAP project. Uh, Rob SMAP, we intend to upscale this activity to as many parts in the country as possible, especially to cooperatives that are growing cooperative, uh, vegetables, because we see this is an excellent tool in motivating our farmers in growing produce for the market. I would like to sincerely express my Thanks to Rab staffs, district and sectors and other stakeholders concerned for their support to SMAP project to achieve the project objectives successfully. My cordial thanks to Minagri and Rab in cooperation with JICA also I appreciate too much. During the five years of the implementation of the project, SMAP has accomplished the project objectives. One of them is to change the beneficial farmer's consciousness from grow and sell to grow to sell. Through a series of training, they have changed their mindset and increased their agricultural income around two or three times. Beneficial farmers have understood that SMAP approach is very simple with improvement of traditional farming practices and not to apply special techniques or too much agricultural inputs.